Well, hi, everyone. Um, let me uh, give you an update on stuff. Um, oh, please excuse uh, the messes. Um, over here, over here, I, uh, I spent, uh, I, I got kind of bored and I laid on the couch and watched some TV and ended up falling asleep out here. So, and right now you see my, my pups up there sleeping. So I didn't want to take the sheets down and stuff yet. I'd let them, let them sleep. And now over here, oh boy. I started on a craft um, to show you all something that I I had invented or made up and thought, well, I'll give this a shot and see if it works or not. And Oh, boy, it looks like an Easter basket exploded. And uh, it kind of looked like an Easter basket exploded whenever I was working on it, too. I might play the clip shortened or something to show you all what was happening. It's really kind of comical. Um, uh, Easter eggs, I was trying to glue them in and they were popping out all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll have to, I'll shorten it down, speed it up or something so it won't be so long and boring. But uh, yeah, I failed on that one. I might try getting into it again, who knows, but uh it was so frustrating. I just kind of gave up for a little while. Anyway, uh, the latest news on stuff. Um, well, I don't think I mentioned it to you all before, but uh, this neighborhood's kind of gone to hell. Um, lived here 30 years, and it used to be a nice neighborhood with... Uh, you know, a bunch of older people here and they kept up their lawns and everything was nice and neat and um, quiet and, you know, no problems, no problems. But um, those people have uh, since uh, died off or moved away and uh, we're like the only ones left on uh, this whole block that's uh, been a long timer up here. Um, and since then, uh, a lot of these houses have gone vacant and, um, well, a drug dealer moved in several houses down. Um, oh boy. And then, uh, a few houses down from that, um, some people moved in that are, um, burglarizing the, the houses in the neighborhood. And uh, so far, no one's caught him in the act, so you can't prove anything. But everyone around here has seen him, you know, carrying stuff and all like that. So they pretty much know. Um, I haven't caught him yet, but uh, that's something you have to worry about here. Always have to, having someone break in and, and steal your blind or, or who knows what else, you know, get shot or anything else. It's just, it's just a, a bad neighborhood right now. And so uh, we, we definitely are planning on moving. Uh, now, where we go to has changed. His mom does not want to move because she's getting so old and stuff. And I understand, you know, um, She's 90 and in bad health and has trouble getting around the way it is. And, uh, you know, I can see why she knows that place. And, uh, she's lived there for, uh, she's lived there about 30 years herself. I remember her moving into it. Um, so, uh, yeah, she's, she's going to stay. Albert's going to stay taking care of her and stuff. And, uh, you know, his, uh, a few of his siblings will give him um, breaks so he can, you know, come for a visit and stuff and all like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, Albert's been taking care of his mom and uh, things seem to be going pretty good over there. Um, but now his mom and his sister both 
really wanted us to move into that house when uh, something happens to them. And, uh, you know, we always said no because it wasn't enough space. Um, it's real tiny rooms. There's, there's one bedroom that's real big and that's it. And the rest of the rooms are real tiny and boxed in and there's just no room. Um, cause we have, you know, well, we, we, we have two households of furniture right here in this house, which is why it's so packed and everything now. And, uh, there's just no way we can cut it down to um, a smaller size or anything like that. But we were talking and uh, after thinking about it, you know, there is an unfinished basement there that could be built into uh, um, like a den or more rooms there. And um, if you open up a few walls here and there and made some changes around it, uh, it just might work. It just might work. Um, but uh, um, right now, things are kind of in a limbo as far as that goes. Um, it'll be nice to get out of this neighborhood, but uh, we don't want to see anything happen to his mom, you know. He's over there trying his best to um, keep her healthy and keep her going. Um, and I know it'll just, it'll kill him if something happened. So uh, we don't want to see it happen, but um, when it does eventually happen, um, there will be a place um, a safe place for us to go to. Um, it's in a better neighborhood than here. Uh, a cr shopping plaza across the street, which makes it kind of noisy at early hours of the the morning and stuff. There's a grocery store over there that has deliveries like at 4 a.m. or so. Um, and I like that. It's... Um, but overall, uh, it could work and it, it would be better than what we have now because uh, I love this place, but uh, uh, it just, um, the neighborhood and the front steps. There's like two stories of front steps you have to come up just to get to the house. And it's just, uh, too hard we're getting too old for that kind of stuff and uh we both have arthritis and stuff and it's just it's hard on you anyway um i want to let you know though that uh i know we've been kind of on a break and i've been posting some funny videos and stuff and stuff to just kind of uh I don't know. <laughs> so I can I can keep doing something, you know, and uh, keep this channel alive and uh, all like that. But um, what Albert wants to do, and I think it's a very good idea, is uh, it's going to be cold this week. This isn't the week for it. But uh, next week's supposed to warm up. And uh, probably next weekend, wh what we'll do is... Uh, go out maybe like to the fort again and uh they have ducks and stuff and places where his mom can sit and you know feed the ducks and get out into the open and enjoy the sunlight and stuff and all like that and you know i'm sure she'll like it she'll enjoy getting out of the house and it'll give her some fresh air and sunshine and meanwhile we can do some uh evps and stuff there too on the side so uh you know hopefully we'll get something good and uh we'll be able to share it and 
you know, we might uh, just start doing videos like that. And, uh, you know, when his mom wants to and uh, when the weather permits. Um, so look, look for that coming out of us for uh, a little while. Um, and I don't know. My mind's always coming up with things. So who knows what else might appear on the channel. It's hard to tell. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, I want to let you all know what was going on. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a rough situation. It's a very sad situation. And uh, I know I've talked about it with a few of you that's been on messenger, you know, and have contacted me and I've, I've talked, uh, a few of your ears off pretty much because <laughs> I've been bored with no one to talk to here at, at home alone. And, um, when I do get someone, some unfortunate soul that happens to send me a, a message, you know, I, uh, I give them the whole story. <laughs> at least updates on what's going on. Um, oh, there's something else I wanted to share. And I posted it on uh, the group page and, the, you know, my, my, my Facebook page. But in case you all missed it, I wanted to tell you that um, Misty's uh, sister, who passed away at the beginning of the month, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's... Um, She's still around, uh, watching over things. Um, I was on the phone with Albert last night, and he was alone there with his mom, and his mom was in her bed, and uh, suddenly he heard these strong raps on his sister's door. And um, he checked, and of course, there was no one there. And um, there was another instance where um, his sister always used to help him. If, if the vehicle broke down, um, she was someone that you could call at any hour, you know, and she'd come right away, you know, and help him out uh, for a battery jump or, you know, whatever, you know, just a ride. You know, she was good for it. And... Uh, well, Albert was parked somewhere out at, at a store, I believe, and um, he went to the Jeep and tried to start it up, and um, it wouldn't start. And he tried and he tried, and he finally got to the point where he was like, oh, Misty, I wish you were here with me right now. You know, I could really use you right now. And um, the engine starts right up. Just like that, right after he said that. Um, so she's, she's given him signs. And I believe she's given him signs because she knows what we do, you know. Or she was, you know, she, she was aware of it. And um, I think she knows, you know, out of all of her siblings and stuff, if, she tried contacting anyone. Albert would have been the one to try to contact because he's more open to it and stuff. And he wouldn't just brush it off as being, no, that's just, you know, coincidence or, you know, you know how people try to rationalize things that can't be rationalized sometimes. Um, and, and, uh, there's a thing about dragonflies. Dragonflies keep coming up um, in all sorts of weird places. And I I won't go into that story and bore, and, uh, bore you all. But, um, um, yeah, I, I think uh, she's kind of sending symbols, signs, omens. Not omens, but signs that uh, she's still around and... Uh, She's letting us know she's still here. 
but anyway, um, yeah, that's all, all the news that I can think of that's been going on. Other than that, it's been kind of boring. Uh, sorry about the singing videos I've thrown up. Um, a fam of ours, Heather Sheldon, has been uh, sending me posts, and uh, uh, they, they come up on my Facebook page, I'm sure, um, of me just singing uh, little bits and pieces of songs, you know, <laughs> really funny songs. And I don't know how she does it. She has, she took a photo of me, and somehow she's making it sing and move around and stuff. <laughs> Don't know how she does it. It's it's incredible, but uh, and it's also hilarious. Some of the stuff she's been doing, and so uh, just to keep my mind off stuff and to keep myself entertained, I've, I've been uh, adding those little clips into the original videos that they go to, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think they're kind of amusing. I. Don't know how you all feel about them. They're, some of you all probably think they're pretty stupid, but um, I'm keeping myself entertained. So, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Anyway, um, that's that's about it. So, uh, um, if I don't send out a message to you all before, I hope you have a great Easter weekend. Uh, I know that's coming up here, so uh, you all take care and uh, peace. Remember, believe. You have this live. We were just rear-ended. <laughs> it came out of nowhere. But, um, yeah, we've been, uh, we got hit, and, uh, that came completely out of the blue. We just sat out a light, and boom. <laughs> but no one's hurt. I bumped my head a little bit, but that's about it. And, uh. Just thought I'd fill you all in. Boy, what a day. Um, we, uh, oh, be quiet, Hoop. Yeah, we got hit by that car. The guy was from uh, New Jersey. We were on his way to visit his mom. Um, I'm not feeling too hot. Um, so Albert's gonna drop me back home.